How's it going guys? Dalton here with another video on the YouTube channel and in today's GTA 6 video we're going to be diving into some more interesting leaks that have been coming out for Grand Theft Auto 6. So a couple days ago we talked about Rockstar's official teases for Grand Theft Auto 6 and a lot of those have appeared in Grand Theft Auto Online including the liveries for the various vehicles like the Mambas 24 on the Imper Vector of the Vice City Metro Meal logo being on screen with the Apocalypse Scarab which we've seen those recent leaks on that vehicle. And on the hot ring, Evron, thanks to some Grand Theft Auto 6 leaks that we know that these logos were lifted straight from GTA 6 and actually put in the Grand Theft Auto Online series. There's plenty of other hints and clues that we could honestly look at the ones that were found in the definitive edition of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas like there was been tons of them there was like a Miami house that was basically straight from GTA San Andreas and the little probe in we've seen some alien abductions kind of confirming that we're going to be seeing a lot more of that in Grand Theft Auto 6 and there's one house in particular that we have been found and sets in the picture at the little probes in as we talked about very much looks like a house that might be coming to Grand Theft Auto 6 and then it's in Florida so it's like a suburban styled house that Rockstar Games enthusiast a user on Twitter MNM345X I'll leave a link in the description if you guys are interested in that they have actually found some more assets that have been found in GTA 6 that was used in the GTA trilogy. So let's go ahead and dive into all of those so we can kind of see what we're looking at here. Because like I said, the user Eminem did actually find some new assets in the Grand Theft Auto 6 leaks. That's going to confirm that Rockstar Games have been putting more teases out there without anybody knowing. So here are some of the pictures and images and we'll dive into them briefly in this video showing you guys what they're from, what they could be, and what they're going to be used in. Most of them are basically from the leaks where you have Lucy and Jason rob the pancake, um, this waffle diner. So oh, this first one actually says, sorry, we're closed. And that was specifically off of one of those buildings in Vice City and GTA 6. That was actually in the Waffle House, which is Frank's Waffle House, where the robbery took place. And the leaks, of course, I can't show you the leaks, but we can dive into them as well. So sorry, we're closed. This is kind of on the billboard in Vice City, Miami. So that was definitely a throughout hint that Rockstar Games was planning to do. So that's a cool one we're gonna be flopping over to the next screenshot this one is probably by far my favorite it is the cafeteria that was actually robbed we have if you can barely see that a hot dog place flyer on the window there the arrow is pointed to it it's actually a reference to gta one of the franchises as well you got french brewed coffee and then down there you got waffles which is basically throwing a hint at the waffles diner that was actually robbed by jason and lucia in the leaks so we know that waffles is going to be a big place and vice city miami does have a lot of waffle stands that you can actually take advantage of so it kind of goes good with the theme it says sorry we or Hey, we're open, and that's another coffee logo there with some hot food with the ice cream delicious, taking from Vice City itself with the ice cream company that you can actually steal an ice cream van and be able to make deliveries of ice cream in Vice City, Tommy Versetti can, so that makes sense there. And then, of course, you also have smile for the camera, like as you go in any convenience stores in real life, it's like, hey, don't do anything illegal, the cops are watching you, the cameras are watching you, don't do anything in the store that you would get in trouble or, you know, don't do anything that the cops could catch you or something like that. Um, so basically you got that smile for the camera logo there saying don't do anything illegal or there'll be consequences or something like that. You know, stuff when stuff that you kind of find when you go into like a convenience store in real life. So that's another cool thing that was actually leaked out. And another asset that could be confirmed that Rockstar Games have been teasing GTA 6 for a while now. And another mugshot was actually found. It says haircut, wet, shave, beard, styling, fades, head shave. So this is another mugshot that was found for GTA 6. And it's actually pretty cool. So there's like, there's definitely stuff that referenced from GTA 5, like the Fleeka bank job. And you have a card of Fleeka. Some of them you can't really read. Some of them are actually featured in GTA 5. So I feel like it's kind of what Rockstar Games is kind of hinting at here. And then haircut, wet shave, beard, styling, fade, head shave. That kind of goes with the mug shot there. So another reference that could possibly be related to GTA 6. And like I said, there's a lot more assets that have been found that proving that Rockstar 
Rockstar Games have been teasing this game forever. If it's not GTA San Andreas or the new GTA Trilogy or if it's not some of the new hints and leaks that we found in previous years of the other lice bite like um, one of the billboards saying flying off to Los Santos or Francis International or Miami, Florida, you know, something like that that would definitely comprehend the leaks. And one of these other signs, if you actually um, forward her here, um, you can actually say, come in, we're open, and then another mug shot down below. So these were also found as assets from GTA 6. Moving on, you got the finest Cuban cigars that was actually placed on a Vice City Miami billboard. Cigars, pipes, tobacco, cigarettes, accessories, humidators, and collectibles that you can actually do. Humidors, and then it says no in lover. So this was actually a billboard referenced in Vice City. We know that Rockstar Games are definitely throwing that as a teaser. So like I said, premium Cuban cigars are definitely a big hit in Vice City. If you've played that game, I'm sure a lot of you have. And it's another thing that they've added and kind of threw in there, kind of hinting that GTA 6. Um, because I'm sure lots of you know in my, uh, uh, Miami, Florida, there's tons of cigarette places if you've ever been there like I have. So, like I said, that's another reference. Here's another asset. Chinese cruising Hong Kong Sichu style seafood, steak, rice, and noodle pasta. Work and Roll is now opened. We know that is a big reference to Vice City Miami because we have tons of them all over the place. And then you also got Accept, and then you also can kind of just see Sprunk is actually involved. And as you know, Sprunk is a soda brand, and it actually was featured in GTA 5, and Sprunk could actually be something to do with GTA 6 in the future. Maybe a Sprunk place or a gas station would kind of be opening up. So once again, that is definitely a clear reference to GTA 5. And then you got a, under the 21 of influence, and then you got all these gangbangers spray painting on the walls. These are definitely found interesting as well. They're not really kind of connected to GTA 6, but they are also found in the certain leaks and assets. So I thought I would show you guys all of them. And of course, I'll leave a link in the description if you are interested in taking a look at all these assets for yourself. Maybe you can compare them and um, identify them a little bit more better than I can. And then you can let me know in the comments down below on what you guys think that this could be a clear reference to. We got ice cream sold here. Need cash ATM machine inside. Lodger. We know that's a big reference to GTA 5, the beer lodger hats or like the Coke products, which is deliciously infectious. That was a reference to GTA 5. And then you got hot the counter with his chicks and checks and cash and you got lottery, all sorts of different references. And then you got closed on the end there that shows you fresh coffee is brewing. But the one big one is definitely the Coke and lodger because we know those are featured products in GTA 5. But anyway, guys, that is all the information I got for you guys on this video today. If you guys did enjoy, don't forget to like and subscribe for more daily awesome videos such as GTA 5 videos, all the upcoming GTA 6 and Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing on my channel. Subscribe for more of those. And of course, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. What do you think Rockstar's goal was here? Was it them teasing GTA 6? Was it them kind of throwing their assets our way just to kind of kind of get us excited for stuff in GTA 6. You guys can let me know in the comments down below. Love to hear from you guys down there because there's also more proof that Vice City uh, license plates have been found with the license plate creator that's going to be coming. So that could be a clear reference to GTA 6 too. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But anyway guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy and I'll see you guys all later on the next video.